Hey guys, it's Jake and Sarah Salyer with Hearth Homes, another episode of At Our Kitchen Table. Uh, today we are going to tell you happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Yep. Um, past Thanksgiving, I guess. Everything yes. is flying by and Christmas yes. is, I don't know, we're almost in the single digits, it feels like. But another episode of At Our Kitchen Table. I hope I didn't already say that. And <laughs> we're going to talk about a market update. <laughs> I, was I think say I that. we're going to talk about a too. market update. Fantastic. We're off to a good start. Um, the market has slowed significantly, um, which we all expected, right? The rates are out of control. Folks are scared. We are still seeing movement under $300,000 price mm -hmm. range, which is kind of that new first time home buyer price range. It's pretty mm -hmm. crazy to consider that. Um, life has just gotten super expensive, but we are definitely still seeing houses sell. Yeah. We are just seeing a lot longer days on market and it is definitely shifting from a seller's market. I do not know if sellers realize that. No, yet. they don't. Well, when he says like longer days on market, of course, we, we, I feel like it's like beating a dead horse going back from the last two years of it's like Same zero thing, days yeah. or negative five days on the market and your already, house is already sold. We're seeing more of like seven to 10 days potentially. Um, you're still, if you're priced right, we always say price drives traffic. So if you're priced sure. right, you're going to get traffic I and you're going to get offers, but like multiple offers is, I don't want to say non-existent, but it's really slowed down significantly. If sellers are paying, yeah, if it's a nice house and it's under the 300 mark and sellers are definitely paying um, closing costs, more having to pay more concessions, I should so say. So that has shifted completely from yeah. the market that we were just used to, which yeah. closing cost, uh, I don't know where you guys got all this money, right? <laughs> so like my whole career, closing costs were almost an expectation that the seller yeah. would pay them. Now all of a sudden the market sped up yeah. and folks had some deep pockets, a lot of cash offers. Yeah. They were paying their own closing costs, which was crazy. And now we are shifting back because yeah. it's way less of a seller's market because shoot, we're in the 7% range. Yes. I mean, interest rates being in the 7%, but we do have somewhat, I think good news. We've been talking to, you know, trying to keep up to date mm -hmm. with our lenders that we work with. Um, what do you guys see for next year? Like, can you give any projection? And most all of them are saying it's going to be a little bit, I don't want to say a rough six to eight months. They're saying summer. They're saying summer. So our spring, Like it's going like, to get back down to the fours, high fours, low fives. And that's, normal my, right? yeah that's what's well, way yeah. better than seven yeah um so our typically like our hot times are usually we usually have a great december mm. um not so much this year and then we always have a hot spring season so yeah. that february to april is usually pretty busy and i just uh i don't see that happening so i will say a couple things uh, she's talked a little bit about date the rate if you have the ability, there is uh, Arvest offers an awesome in-house program that's an ARM, so it's not so crazy. ARM meaning adjustable rate mortgage, but it doesn't adjust, I believe, for the first seven years. Uh -huh. So it's locked in. Yeah. Um, and you can always refi. That's what she means by date the rate. But yep. if you are looking to purchase, uh, now is a very good time yeah. to potentially invest because things are stagnant. Yep. You're not fighting anybody yep. for the most part. Um, and so this is typically where you see your big multimillionaires uh, that have made their wealth in real estate. This is where they, I mean, for lack of a better term, kind of strike while it's hot. Mm -hmm. Hot to them because they're not having to fight anybody. Yeah. And if you're thinking about investing, I would say now is the time. Yeah, I agree with that. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not always the case. So that's kind of what we yeah. see, what's going on. Everything is really speculation. Don't hold us to any of that. I'm really hoping that things will come back down and get some sort of normal by the summer. So you guys can kind of watch for that. But as always, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Hit us with your questions. Um, call, text, email, whatever you want to do. We'd love to hear from you. Yep. Merry Christmas. <laughs> have a great day.